with Northampton Center hosting some of the best sled hockey athletes in the country tonight. Questions continuing about how that sport will continue growing through the town of Amherst. Two on your sides, Joshua Robinson catching up with town officials on the progress and shall we say growing pains of the sports booming popularity here in Western New York. Just seven years ago, Norm Page says he needed to take every player who came out to tryouts just to fill a 17 player roster. Today, 58 players from every corner of the United States are playing in the North Town Center to fill four spots. I used to know every kid that was in the program. Now there's so many, it's, it's unbelievable. The programs have grown to well over 100 across the country. And you know to have, have it here in Western New York, I think it's amazing for Western New York to see these athletes at this level, at any level. And as attention grows, so must the town of Amherst, who are still considering tax breaks on the town's newly planned hotel. But it would be so much more than just another hotel for these players. Now, one of the biggest challenges for athletes and the families of athletes competing here at the North Town Center is finding an accessible hotel room. But just imagine one big hotel with nothing but accessible rooms for those athletes from all across the country to come to. If those tax breaks are approved, Amherst would become the official hometown of the U.S. Sled Hockey's national headquarters. But the final question remains for the Industrial Development Agency. Will it create enough tourism to make $1.2 million in tax breaks worthwhile? It's a question town officials are still anxious to see answered. I certainly want U.S. sled hockey to come here. The people who run our rec department in the North Town Center have a commitment to excellence here. Um, they want U.S. sled hockey to come here. And so, you know, we're, we're trying to work with all parties to see if we can get that to happen. Now, the IDA will continue listening to public response before they make their final decision on the hotel's tax breaks. In the meantime, if you want to check out this weekend's tryout, scrimmages will continue tomorrow morning from the Northtown Center from 945 till noon. For Channel 2 News, I'm Joshua Robinson.